COVID has definitely changed all of our lives and it's changed our industry. Technology had already become a really important part of fashion and now it's even more important. And one of the most important emerging technologies in fashion is 3D. Now I know that on this channel, we focus mostly on Illustrator and Photoshop and those two programs are still important. But if you are planning to advance your fashion career or you're planning to get into fashion or you want to start a fashion business, you want to make sure that you're preparing yourself for what's next. And not only is 3D emerging as an important technology and software for you to master, but it's also a great way for you to save money, to be more efficient and to be more sustainable. One of the biggest expenses in fashion, and one of the most wasteful, is sampling. And 3D technology can help you save time and money on sampling. Here's just a few reasons 3D technology is so beneficial. One, it can save you time by eliminating the lag between handing off a tech pack and making a sample. Two, it allows for your overseas and domestic teams to hold virtual fittings together and make changes in real time. Three, it cuts down the turnaround time for seeing a first sample by doing it virtually. Four, it increases the likelihood of approving the fit of your garment once you see a physical proto. And five, it saves money by cutting out the expense of making a physical garment that will most likely not fit the first time around. Which also means that you'll probably never show it to a buyer. So that sample will just be sitting somewhere taking up space. For new designers, this software can be really important. Most new designers, unless you have an investor or you have a really big savings account, don't have a lot of money when they're starting their line. So that also means that you don't have money to just be wasting on extra samples. But for as little as $50 a month, you can design an entire collection, do a virtual runway show, show your collection to a buyer, have them buy pieces from that collection, and never once have to cut an actual sample until the pieces are ordered. And since Clo, which I'm recommending to use, requires you to start with a pattern, you'll already have it to output when you're ready to cut your first fit sample. And this is another savings, both the time to create a pattern and the money you save because you don't have to hire someone to do it. The other cost saver is that you can show the entire line, see what pieces your customers are responding to, and then only cut the things that people actually want. So many times designers and stores lose money because they order hundreds and thousands of pieces of styles that just don't sell. This way, that style that isn't working can be dropped from the line before you even spend any money to make it. Sounds like a no brainer and a win-win for everyone, right? And mind boggling that the entire fashion industry doesn't just jump on this. Well, interestingly enough, our industry, although it's all about staying current and on trend, is very slow to adopt new technology. And like many people, companies have a hard time changing the way that they've always done things. I mean, we've been using the same old tired fashion calendar for years. And we all know it's not working, but everyone continues to follow it because that's what we've always done. So smaller, newer brands, you now have a bit of an advantage over some of the bigger brands because you can adapt and change much more quickly. And the name of the game right now is innovation and adaptation. So if you can adapt and get on board now with the new emerging technology, you'll be able to save some time, money, and you'll be ready for the inevitable upcoming changes to the fashion industry. Thanks for watching this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with another designer if you found it helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.